Hello everyone, I'm Antonio Ting and you're watching Video News. As humanity sets their sights on deep space exploration, the moon becomes a stepping stone, with countries hoping to build lunar bases to support such missions. To solve the lunch problem, scientists have been exploring the possibility of growing plants on the moon. A new study by Chinese scientists has found that bacteria in soil from Earth could offer a solution. Researchers from China Agricultural University tested five species of bacteria on a material that simulated lunar soil. Within a period of 10 to 21 days, three of the bacteria species had doubled their amount of phosphorus content, a key element for plant growth. They then grew model plants in the lunar soil simulants containing these three bacteria species. They observed that the plant had longer stems and roots after six days of growth compared to those grown without the bacteria. The plants also had heavier and wider clusters of leaves after 24 days of growth. Besides, levels of chlorophyll, responsible for harvesting energy from light, in the model plants were about double that of those grown without bacteria. The study results have important implications for future long-term stays on the moon, the study's lead researcher Sun Zhen Chai told Xinhua. Earth's bacteria may help astronauts make better use of lunar resources, such as creating lunar greenhouses. In their follow-up research, they hope to experiment with real lunar soil samples and grow crops like rice, corn, and potatoes. Since the duration of space missions is increasing, carrying all food supplies to space becomes unsustainable. Hence, space planting becomes critical. During the Shenzhou 11 mission, astronauts managed to grow lettuce from sowing to harvest. In the later missions, the space farmers have successfully grown wheat, rice, and tail crests, according to CCTV News. The most recent visitors to China's space station, the Shenzhou 17 astronauts, are now growing lettuce, scallion, and cherry tomato. These space gardens not only provide astronauts with food, but also more oxygen and water. And that's it. Thank you for watching today's video news. See you next time.